So you've probably seen countless videos of people making money in the metaverse or people like Ryan Train or Eric making challenges inside the metaverse. But how do you actually enter the metaverse? What can you actually really do in there? So let's check it out and see how to start. Hi, my name is Alex and a couple of months ago, I made a video on how to make money inside the metaverse. What I actually didn't show you is how to get inside the metaverse and what metaverses there actually are. In the meantime, lots of NFT games and metaverse ideas popped up and got launched. Before we dive deeper though, let me first explain to you one more time what the metaverse actually is and what it was supposed to be used for. The metaverse is a place that combines the real world, as we currently know it, with the digital world. And it creates a new universe where we can all be anything, anyone, and anywhere we want to be. If you've seen the movie Ready Player One, that probably already rings a bell. The only thing that's better than teleporting anywhere in the world is hitting the like button on this video for the YouTube algorithm to help me and my channel out. <laughs> Thank you. So we all have a life here in the real world. We wake up, we get ready, and then we go to school or start working. When COVID hit the world, those habits changed pretty quick. We couldn't be in offices anymore. We started working from home, schools closed, and kids needed to study in front of their computers by watching their teachers become streamers. I wonder if the teachers told their kids that Prime subs are free. Anyways, <laughs> the world got more and more digital, but how far can we actually take this? One idea of the metaverse was to create a digital space where we can all meet in the same room while being in completely different parts of the world. <laughs> so just like internet. Microsoft wanted to implement this as fast as possible to make their Zoom meetings, or rather Teams meetings, more immersive and feel like you're sitting in the same room with your coworkers. And the Facebook meta trailer, you can also see that they try to portray a world where you can hang out with your friends and play cards while sitting in the comfort of your own home. Some Web3 companies even specialize in specific fields like corporate usage in, as I've said, meetings or showrooms, get togethers, virtual conferences, workshops, and so on. While other companies saw the potential to take real world celebrities and put them in the digital world. We've already seen quite a few very big metaverse events and concerts by people like Justin Bieber, Travis Scott, Post Malone, and many more. These were specific shows programmed and performed live with motion capturing technology. Obviously, in the metaverse, shows are limitless, while in the real world, it's insanely expensive to have lots of special effects and change sceneries. In the metaverse, it's just a click of a button, and you can transition into different surroundings, worlds, planets, have special effects, and so on. Also, it's way easier to interact directly with the fans. Just like on Twitch or any other streaming platform, you can see chats and get direct and personal feedback from your audience. Of course, nothing beats the real world experience and a real cheering crowd always gives me goosebumps. <laughs> As you can see, we don't have an overall metaverse yet where we all hang out and meet. It's split up into different multiverses. Did you get it? Because Marvel and stuff? No? All right. <laughs> right now, a few companies fight for the top to become the place where all other companies meet, while, while other companies like Facebook or Meta still working on their metaverse. I've checked out a few metaverses and looked for pros and cons, so let's look at a few and see how to get inside and look around and see what they offer. Number one, sandbox. This feels kind of like Minecraft. The graphics are very blocky and it feels like you're just playing a regular game. But a very nice side effect though is the Vox Editor, where you can create your own avatars, add-ons, and NFTs that are usable inside the game. If you're really good at creating that stuff, you can actually make quite a lot of money by selling those creations on the marketplace. This way, other players can buy and use your add-ons, weapons, clothes, and so on. In their world, and in their game. Also, you can build complete worlds just the way you want to. And sure, that takes a lot of time, but hey, if you like playing games like that, why not put that playtime into this and set up yourself for the day we all hang out in your world? Well, that is of course, if Sandbox wins and becomes the go-to metaverse. <laughs> this early stage is also the problem why I always was skeptical about the buying land inside the metaverse wave, because sure, you can buy some land and maybe you can quickly make some money by renting spaces to brands or or other users, or even trying to flip the land with profit. But what if your metaverse is not the metaverse we all want to hang out in? Then your land is useless and you've spent thousands of dollars for nothing. Just like all of us who bought NFTs and crypto in the last few months. <laughs> Okay, I'm good. Next up is Decentraland. This one is actually very fun. It feels more like a modern video game. You can walk around and talk to people, meet in community spaces, and actually work for companies. Companies are hiring people to work inside of the metaverse, and Decentraland is a very big one. And one of my favorite places inside Decentraland was the casinos, because you can actually gamble and play poker against real other players. Of course, there's always a catch, and you can only play if you own one of their very way too expensive NFTs. But well, if you're a decent poker player, you 
might just see it as a buy-in and win that money back in no time by beating some big fish. <laughs> but I like walking around here and you can do a lot of different things. You can build your own house, you can build your own museum, you can buy land, of course, whatever you want to do. It feels kind of cool and it has a lot of different parts that feel like different worlds and on every corner you can find some mini games that let you play to earn crypto while playing games or just solving some tasks. Of course, you can also buy and sell NFTs in here because that's the way you look different from all the others. You buy virtual clothes, wear virtual hats, dress up as your favorite character, and so on. This all works by buying NFTs and applying them inside Decentraland. If you rather want something that looks like an A-list video game, you should check out Illuvium. The trailer looks absolutely sick. It's kind of like a mixture between World of Warcraft and Pokemon, I think. Illuvium is an open world exploration where you can collect NFT creatures and battle with others. It's also a play to earn game, which means you can solve tasks and win challenges so you can earn crypto while playing the video game. And the graphics look great. Unlike something like Axie Infinity, where you also have a play to earn game and where you can make money playing the game, Axie Infinity looks very boring and this game actually looks fun. If you don't know what Axie Infinity is, it's also a play to earn game and it was especially popular in countries that don't have a strong economy. Here, people just needed a basic phone or a basic computer and could spend all day playing the game, earning a few hundred dollars a month, which is a lot of money in some of those countries. But this game looks way more fun. This is some actual gameplay footage of Illuvium. And I gotta say, if they continue improving on that, we're looking into a very bright and very fun future. So before I forgot it, a while ago I did a 10K giveaway and I did it in the worst possible way because I kept it anonymous, just like, you know, in a crypto spirit. <laughs> so I just had a bunch of wallet addresses, but as promised, I picked one and then sent the winner his or her Ethereum. Here's a screenshot. So next time I'll definitely make it way more personal and I hope it makes more sense. But whoever won, I hope you have a lot of fun and I hope crypto goes back up because I bought that ETH that I sent you for 2K and now it's worth 1k whatever it's i'm not crying you are <laughs> if you know how to learn five ways to actually make money inside the metaverse check out this video up here and if you want to learn how crypto trading bots actually work check out this video down here if you like the video make sure to subscribe to the chance to win five ethereum yes and this time with more sense as soon as we hit 100,000 subscribers on this channel so be quick join the ride and maybe you win some free crypto thanks so much for watching my name is alex stay smart stay safe and i'll see you next wednesday